how can you build a model just like this faster and cover 21 tips in the process coming up all right let's get started the goal of strategy with this one looks like we'll do a block we're gonna sketch kind of this boss round it off maybe do the extrude finish this extrude then do a cut then do the fillets so let's get started so we'll be basing the exercise on this drawing. You can download it at the link below. Check it out. All right, getting started with our first sketch. Um, I'm gonna do a couple things just before I get going. I give it a name, hit save. Um, good idea to actually start a new component. Um, that only really relates if you're gonna be doing multi-body parts, but we're not, so it's not critical. It's not a bad habit though either when you're gonna be doing multiple designs. Also, we want to set our units. Millimeter. Start the first sketch, front plane. Sketch a rectangle. And I'm gonna be going up. Okay, and let's sketch some lines coming off of this. Now I have a setting that everything's gonna scale off of my first dimension. I love that. It's right in the design settings. I can link that below if you haven't seen that before. That's in another one of my quick tips. So everything's going to scale off that first dimension. That makes life a lot easier, a lot faster. And then start just dropping in these dimensions. And this goes really quickly. Okay, so drag the blue entities to find what's missing. Looks like that, maybe that overall height is missing. And this radius looks like we need to put that in. Great, so looks like everything is black. I don't think anything will move. Um, we can now offset this part of the sketch, bring it down, that's 10. Snap it into place, great. I have two different profiles and that's what's one great thing about Fusion. You can do multi-profiles and extrude them different depths. So I'm gonna extrude this but I'm gonna keep the plane right in the middle. I'll make life easier by doing symmetry. I'm doing a symmetric extrude, but I am also going to type in the distance value over the overall width. I know that value, that's 96. So I can type in 96. We're gonna reuse the sketch. Turn on the visibility. And we can reuse that sketch, hit extrude, and we're going to do this one at a different depth. Again, symmetric, so it's extruding both directions. It's a little bit more, a little bit thinner, skinnier, and this value is 60. Okay, so next thing is we want to uh, round off this face. Now, I wish in Fusion there was a way to do a full round fillet where it would just calculate it for me, but because I select here and here gives me the distance, 60. You don't even have to use the measure tool, but of course you can. So if it's 60 and we wanna do two fillets, these two edges, so that's just 30 and 30, right? So two at 30, that rounds it out. Looks good. Start a sketch on this face and we're gonna do a circle. Now here's a nice little tip. If you hover at the arc, it's gonna wake up the center point of that arc. And it's now got a concentric relationship. So it's already locked into place, which is great. And I'm gonna extrude the boss. The boss is 45. Extrude that up. Okay, so I messed up, but it's a good excuse to show one of our capabilities here. So instead of extruding up from here, 
I actually want it to extrude down and I need to need it to extrude 30, but starting from that face. So we actually can use So that's fixed. And it might just be just as fast to go back, delete that sketch and that extrude I just did and re-sketch them on the bottom face. That might be just as fast as the change of the extrude. Okay, we can do the cut, but maybe it'd be smarter to go ahead and finish off that boss and add the cut later. So now again on the front plane, we'll start a sketch. Can flip this around so I'm looking at the same thing and sketch. Going from, we're gonna start up here, and what I'd like to do is reference this edge. So I'm gonna use project P, or search for it in the S key. So I'm gonna select this body, and it's gonna grab all those edges for me. Those are all now referenceable for our sketching. So I can snap to that, come out with a, a little line, go to a tangent arc, tangent arc down to this edge. Looks great drag in a few dimensions and then this arc should align with this arc they should be concentric so I select the two arcs hit the concentric now it looks like everything's black I do want to extend this so if you we'll go ahead and extrude this and you guys can see my the mess up here so if I extrude this can see that it's not actually connecting and that's where sometimes it makes sense to extend the geometry in order to have the um, shared material. So we'll just sketch those in. We could use the extend tool in the sketching, but I just as fast for me to draw those lines in this case. And I'm doing both profiles, again, symmetric, joining, I know the total width it's 10 and there we go looks good okay what else are we missing let's do a hole start a sketch again I'm gonna use that uh, circle command right from the S key that's my shortcuts hover to the arc snap to the midpoint it grabs a concentric I'll do D for smart dimension and drag in a 25 Okay, so how do I have it cut all the way through no matter what? Make it intelligent. There's that cut through all. That's great. Looks good. Okay, some fillets. Um, all my fillets are a radius of two. So I can come in and just start selecting these. And again, I love how Fusion allows me just to select everything. It's incredible that it's not uh, order dependent. Uh, and a lot of other solvers, like in particular SolidWorks, you have to be careful to select edges where there's convergence and you have to do it kind of um, one at a time almost. So I love that I can just select these and drag in that two. Okay, looks good. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my new tutorials that are coming out. Okay, see you in the next one.